Hola amigos. I have a very cool video for everyone, not to get so serious like yesterday. Um, yesterday's channeled message about July, I'll get into in another post. But I wanted to show you guys something that popped up on my my car screen. If you guys uh, followed me from three months, two months ago, two months ago, if you dig in my videos, uh, I think I titled the video, um, What Does This Mean? And it, it was like a, a, a constellation had appeared on my car screen. So here we go with something else. Now, mind you, I pushed no buttons at all. And so all of a sudden, uh, I see this voice portal. Portal is the word that sticks out to me. I don't really care much about voice command. Uh, but it, it's... I can go back. But when I started my car, it just said, voice portal. And I'm like, excuse me? So... Then I started thinking, portal, 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 portal. And then I'm like, oh, my next, my next message to my YouTube community. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, all right. My next message to my YouTube community would be, uh, whoo, here we go. Saturn will not leave me alone. Saturn won't leave me alone. It won't let, it won't leave me alone. And I've been watching uh Kai Pacha and Astrology for the Soul for quite some time now. Uh and Saturn has been in the constellation of Capricorn for a very long time. I think if I'm not mistaken, since 2016, Black Moon, Lilith, and Saturn have been in Capricorn. So We've been going through a lot of shit. Excuse my language. But it's just been a lot of suffering. And someone was talking to me the other day. They were saying, oh my gosh, like you just can't catch a break. I'm like, no, I can't, girl. <laughs> and, uh, but it's okay. I mean, like, for me, it's not like, <laughs> excuse me, it's not like, um, oh, life's miserable and horrible and I can't handle it. Life is just happening and <clears throat> I want to get better control under understanding why are things just out of hand right now why are things just so oblivious and so uh, I just never thought to look up a, some, some things first thing was uh, my uh, birth year and my birthday where was the uh alignments of the planets and whatnot where was everything um and so when i did a, i just google searched and i left an example for everyone in my description box you guys can do this too you just click on my google search and then you just change out my birthday which i put on blast <laughs> for your birthday or um instead of i i don't know what planets were in everyone's chart uh, but you might want to put a uh, planet that is in, like let's say if you're Sagittarius, planet that is in Sagittarius. And it will tell you what planet follows that zodiac sign. Unfortunately, mine is a Saturn. So this is kind of like a reason why you would think someone like Oprah or Obama, uh, Maya Angelou. There's a lot of different celebrities that are within Capricorn, and the reason why is because their chart is in Saturn. Their planet is Saturn. Saturn is a ruler. Saturn's associated with Kronos, the Greek uh, god of time. The ruler over time is Kronos. Or Apollo. I think Apollo was some sun descendant of uh, Zeus. And the same wife that had Kronos had Apollo. If you know Greek mythology. Everything ties in and everything is a crazy coincidence. 
So when I, I was going through a very hard personal issue this past eight days now, and it's it's continuing, and I hope today is the end of it. Um, yeah, and I'm gr- I, I'm over the grieving process of my friend, but it's crazy because his birthday is in December. He's a Sagittarius, and I was looking at when Saturn is going to leave the constellation of Capricorn. It is exactly on my friend, uh, who rests in peace. It's on his birthday in 2020. So I understand the grieving process. I understand the purging process now. And it's ab- it, I'm able to have a little bit more clarity in my life because I literally have booked a therapist for Monday next week because I'm just like, I'm losing my marbles. I am losing it, but... I think counseling, therapy, group sessions, mental help is there to help us balance the 3D and understanding the the reactions of the 3D zombies, as I call it. I think about the zombie movies, and I'm like, hey, that's like everybody in 3D right now. Right now, everyone's a zombie. But uh, the survivors are us, like the walking dead. We are the awakened ones who are fighting off the walking dead. So, not to navigate, but... um, Yeah, so... Long story short... um, I was going through all these different Google searches... Because I just saw this word portal... And I was like... Oh my gosh, like... Perhaps, you know, on some layers and multi-layers and dimensional layers and astral layers and then you know I was doing my I did our July forecast of energy updates when these different uh, portals will be opening and different entities and different energies will be coming in and it's not cute Um, it's going to be a lot of havoc um, on us electrically on our electric side of our bodies And there's going to be a lot of havoc mentally, emotionally. Um, But going forward, uh, it's just this funny coincidence between June and December. And uh, I looked at my chart and I'm like, wow, December comes up a lot. Uh, I found out I was uh, Capricorn, or no, sorry, Venus, the planet was in Capricorn. And Mercury was rising, meaning that if here's the constellation and the planets are orbiting through those constellations, hey, my shirt looks like a constellation. Um, That's what was happening. Venus was already in Capricorn during my birth. And then in transit, Mercury came in. So um, the last astrology report was last week where... um, Mercury and Saturn had conjuncted each other. So I I clearly understand how things fell apart. A, with my job, I had clients blow up at me. People exploded at me because if people are in those charts, you just can't get around it. It's just the way that it's orchestrated. It's the way that it is choreographed. But I think if we jump ahead and start understanding these things, We can better maintain and uh, compose ourselves. But I want to get into something uh, very interesting before I lose your attention. I want to talk about my encounters. I didn't really have the courage to post this before, but I was watching Extreme Reality. Uh Uh-oh, I forgot the last part of it. But uh, Extreme Reality... uh, she posted, uh, and thank you to Ascending Angel 1111's YouTube uh, video that pointed me to Extreme Reality's YouTube channel. Um, she was talking about orbs and things like that. And I didn't put that in the description box because I think um, I, I didn't want to push too much on my viewers. Uh, so I just thought I would push you first with me. <laughs> And then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go into more details about, because I can translate the things that she had in her video, and I think that, that de- deserves its own uh, enterprise, if you may.
but uh, Extreme Reality, damn it, I forgot the last part of her name, but, um, so I have two encounters, and I put them in the description box below, <laughs> speaking of orbs, um, you guys see them in my car, don't you? Um, so the first encounter was in the June of 2015. I'm actually on the anniversary of that. Um, it was a year before my friend had passed away. So I, I find it a very interesting coincidence. But my encounter, the story was uh, I left Subway to cross the street to go to my apartment. And I saw an orb. And this orb, in person, it looked like it was melting and dripping this lava, but it wasn't falling on the ground. So me thinking, you know, um, you know, uh, <laughs> either I was just really tired that day or I was high as a kite. I don't know. Um, 2015 was a wild year for me because I just went off on a magical binge. I just kind of... I was all over the place and I own it but um, consequently I had done too much exposure of a lot of things that I was so humiliated that I wanted to leave town and I moved to Sacramento to kind of hide from my shame and, and, and get rid of my guilt and, and blame and whatever but at the same token uh, when I was up there in Sacramento, so that same encounter followed me. <laughs> so I got freaked out and then I ran into a couple people who helped me understand what that was and then I came back uh, to Los Angeles to face my issues and my circumstances um, wholeheartedly. But the first encounter is pretty cool because at the end of the video, if you guys watch it, if you have the courage to watch it, it's pretty, it's pretty out there but you know, we can't hide from these things. They are going to meet our eyes if we are vibrating to a high uh, density, a higher vibration. So at the end of the video, you see it go, it'll be over here in the video. You'll see it spiral and fly away and it was white. But the whole time on camera, it was like red and orange and yellow and a little green and you see it like doing a weird thing and then you see how the flashes were interacting with my body so I had no idea what the hell was going on but I know that my whole life story my journey um, changed and it changed for the better after I was able to have a little bit of balance in my life uh, I was able to really my, pull it together and get a grip um, and then it was like I think because I was so eager to seeking more uh, it, it just met my reality it came to me so I, I just encourage people and just like extreme reality video with what the person said was um, oh extreme reality check yes I got it with an X um, what she had said in her video was, um, we are, no, oh, this was Ascending Angel 1111. Uh, thank you, Carmela. And uh, basically, when we are opening ourselves to these higher uh, uh, channels, they will start to come to our foresight. Um, and I, I completely 1000% agree with that. Um, it's just because we're in this third density 3D, it's kind of hard to like, but then the more we're exposed to things and the more that we start unburdening ourselves of thinking we're crazy, and the more th episodes of our own personal life that we keep running into, all the different like, you know, when people drive you crazy, and like, ah! and all that anger comes out of your body, you just purged yourself and then that kind of brings a vibration to another place. So a lot of times when, like a lot of people, and this is a hard topic, but when people bring up addiction and things like that, I always say, you know, I would not condemn and damn the person who's had any background in any type of 
affliction in terms of that department because it's really the people who are a little cuckoo or even, I even look at some of the uh, transients and homeless people that they're probably more tapped in and awake, awaken on some other multi-dimension, which is probably why they're not even giving a crap about, you know, walking and living on the streets. And it, it's just, they're not here. They're on another dimension. So I kind of look up to that. <laughs> not going to go there in this conscious body, but I can appreciate it. And I was a gypsy at one time. I just... I had a harassment issue in October of 2017 and I just said, you know what, sir, I had a neighbor that was harassing me really bad and doing pranks on my property because I owned a little trailer and uh, it was my little bungalow and it just sucks that, you know, I just cannot have peace because I'm in Saturn, number one, like my charts in Saturn, my zodiacs and saturn my birth is it, it just sucks because i don't want to have that control i'm resisting control of that damn planet <laughs> and all the people who worship it they're surrendering to it and they're getting the energy from it and they're feeding off of it and it's serving them but i refuse to have that uh that type of walk i refuse um so back to topic um uh, in December of 2017, I still didn't find a place to live because I had moved out and I kind of have been in my car and hotel and car, hotel, and car, hotel. This is right before I started making my YouTube videos. And then uh, I had another encounter. This encounter was kind of interesting because um, I, I, I had a couple of drinks and I uh, I just thought, you know, oh, God gave up on me and, and my faith gave up on me or I gave up on my faith. I just kind of retired from, I divorcing, I was Christian because I was going through a lot of torment and a lot of things. And I'm like, wow, all these things that were proclaimed over me are not happening. Prayer is not happening. Um, there's a professional basketball player just across the street. I can show you guys his face. Uh, anyway, long story short. Uh, if you guys know the, the town of Santa Monica, that's where I'm driving through right now. Uh, but long story short, December, I parked my car. I was playing just, you know, uh, chill out, shut my eyes. Uh, and, you know, that was it for the night. That's where I was going to be for the night. And hey, hey, hey. But I opened my eyes at 3.33 a.m. And I remember it to a T. And so you see in my description box, there's a second encounter. And that second encounter uh, was way far out because it started with me seeing everyone at a certain point of, I think it was two years ago, a lot of people had reported this blue light, this blue dot in the sky. And I seen it too. I think a lot of us had a calling to look up and, you know, we all had some type of thing. It was like a beacon and we all paid attention to it. Long story short, um, I, I just hit record. And though I was a little tipsy, um, I had thought this was the end of the world. I thought, you know, uh, you know, the rapture is here, like the Bible said. And I had, like, you know, put God on hold and I put religion on hold and I put pause on like my spiritual journey but yet I was being revealed this huge uh, event that was occurring uh, that was actually event number one and then the event in March was during during our astral uh, projection that rainbow uh, cloud astral projection we saw in our dreams was the second event and a lot of people thought, oh, this is going to happen in our physical world. And I just kept telling people, no, it already happened. Or the reason why it didn't happen, we all didn't come together in the physical. But we all came together in the astral realm. We all came together in the metaphysical. So I hope you guys get where I'm going with this. But um, yeah, so my second encounter, 
it, a lot of stuff was going on. If you guys are sky watchers, UFO hunters, and all that, your boy has the best. And I got zero credit for it. I got 200 views. It's okay, though. It's fine. But uh, I recorded from my car facing uh, west. And it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. I was tripping out because... In person, all I saw was a star, and I saw that star, it was blue. And I thought, ooh, the blue star Kachina, hit record. And it wasn't the blue star Kachina. On the camera, uh, I saw the blue dot, like everyone else was seeing, and then some things were happening with that. You see, you will see if you click and watch the video that in the lower part of that angle of the camera is the star uh, it is a star. Uh, I think it's serious. Something was going on. I have no clue what was actually happening. And then if you guys skip, skip the part of me crying and talking about, you know, forgiveness and my darkest days. And I thought like the world was ending. I thought this was it. I need to repent. <laughs> Shouldn't even just, uh, had any audio. But at the end of the video, just like everyone explains, uh, especially in Extreme Reality Checks video, there was someone who made a claim. They said a white zip happened, a white flash. And that's exactly what happened uh, at, towards the end of the video. You'll see a white flash happen and everything disappears. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, everything that's in my description box below. If you're bored, you definitely have uh, a in-class assignment from Words for Wisdom, Aaron Davis. Here I am. Let's go. Take care, everybody.